Number 10. House Poor In Boca Raton, Florida, a woman living in a dream mansion on Long Lake Drive was busted stealing roughly over $1,000 worth of clothing from a sack store. When asked by the police why she needed to steal the clothes, she cried that it was because her husband took all her money. She said she wanted to purchase the clothing for her daughter, who had an important trip to New York coming up. And while we can all sympathize with that, it's still a pretty strange situation. You'd never expect somebody living in a home worth over $3 million in a neighborhood with a fancy name like Long Lake Estates to be stealing clothes from a department store. This woman's name is Deborah Engelhart, and she stole a whole heap of clothing from the Saks store in March of 2022, including shirts that cost over $100 each. According to the Boca Raton police, she selected a large number of items and then swiftly stuffed them in her brown handbag. Satisfied, she marched out of the doors and made a break for it. But she didn't get very far before she was arrested. Deborah was taken to the Palm Beach County Jail, then released on a bond of $3,000. For a woman with no money, she ended up having to pay twice the value of the stolen clothing just to get herself back home. Number 9. Killed Over a Red Bull in the summer of 2021, a gas station clerk in Indiana thought himself quite the hero when he chased down a shoplifter. The shoplifter had come into the store before midnight on June 29th. The convenience store clerk, 49-year-old Vincent Bibbs, noticed Damon McLean, also 49, acting a little suspiciously. Damon was lurking around the store and clearly appeared to be up to no good. Then, Vincent saw with his own eyes, Damon put four packs of Red Bull in a garbage bag and walk towards the door. It's a pretty bizarre move to do something like that. And while understandably frustrating to see, it certainly didn't warrant what came next. It's hard to say if Vincent was at the end of his rope with shoplifters, if he was mentally unstable, or if he just kind of snapped. Whatever it was, Vincent chased Damon out of the store and into the parking lot. There, he demanded that the thief hand over the Red Bull. Damon refused and instead got into his car and tried to drive away. That was when Vincent pulled out a 9mm handgun, dashed to the driver's window, and blew the shoplifter away. Following the murder, Vincent went back into the store, helped some customers, and then called the police to report what had happened. Naturally, nobody's life is worth a pack of Red Bull, not even four packs of Red Bull. Vincent has since been charged with murder and could face life in prison. Number 8. Shoplifting Sergeant a sergeant with the NYPD was busted stealing $360 worth of fast fashion clothes from a Macy's department store. Her name is Eva Pena, and she was 39 years old when she got busted in 2019 for her rather fruitless shoplifting scheme. Eva wasn't just an ordinary police officer, she was a full sergeant. She was apparently friendly with the commissioner, she was well respected in the community, and she was making over $107,000 a year. Yet. After she was arrested in the Bronx for stealing some totally insignificant pieces of clothing, she was suspended. $100,000 a year down the drain. Plus, now Eva's gonna need to find herself a new job. If you're wondering how it all played out, it was honestly like something you would expect a teenager to do. Eva was seen by security at the department store, removing tags from clothing and stuffing them in her bag. She tried to sneak out the door with six items in her bag, including a pair of pants, a lace dress, and a beaded shirt. It was extra embarrassing for the department because she had recently posed with the police commissioner James O'Neill at an event. Number 7. Shot Point Blank Ernesto Aguilar shoplifted from Walmart on January 19, 2022, and was punished by a police officer holding him down on the ground and shooting him point blank in the head. Ernesto, 30 years old and from Santa Ana in California, was held down by multiple police officers who can only be described as executioners. Body cam footage of the incident revealed the three deputies with the Orange County Sheriff's Office pinning him down on the ground, holding the barrel of a gun directly against his head and then pulling the trigger. Here's where things get even worse. The incident took place at a Lake Forest Walmart when the security guard called the police to report Ernesto. The security guard suspected Ernesto and the woman he was with were planning to steal electronic items using a fake receipt. However, the couple were standing in the checkout line with cash in hand, ready to pay for toys and diapers for their kids when the cops arrived. The police didn't check the situation. They didn't look at anyone's receipts. They just started bullying the couple. Things spiraled out of control almost immediately 
The police shouted and screamed and cursed at Ernesto, and they pinned him to the ground. Then one of the officers screamed, he's got a gun, shoot him, shoot him. It was a miracle that Ernesto didn't die. He underwent emergency surgery and should make a full recovery. However, he's been charged with possession of a gun and has a bail of $2.3 million. The police officers who held the man down and shot him in the head have yet to get in any trouble at all. Number 6. Refuge at a Funeral In Austin town, police captured a shoplifting suspect with a rather unusual getaway plan. It all started with a Walmart loss prevention officer in late March 2022. The officer started following a woman around the store. He had been a loss prevention officer long enough to know there was something not quite right about her. He watched as she picked up 181 items and put them in a shopping cart. Then he followed her to the automatic cash registers, where she only scanned a handful of the items before leaving. She really thought that by paying for only a couple of items, nobody would notice her walk out of the store with an entire cart. The woman fled when she realized she was busted, leaving the cart and all the merchandise behind. Then she tried to evade the police by ducking into a funeral home. It didn't work and the suspect, identified as Laura Fowler, was escorted away in handcuffs. Number 5. The Shoplifting Cop William Dickey was a 39-year-old Providence police officer in 2021 when he got busted doing something you would never expect a cop to do. He and his wife Tara, both from Cranston, entered their local Lowe's Home Improvement store to do a bit of shopping. William wandered around the store for a while and filled his cart to the brim with R30 insulation. As he was moving around the store collecting the insulation, his wife was busy sticking a new air conditioner in a shopping cart. Then, when they had collected everything they needed, they approached the cash registers. But instead of stopping, Dickie and Tara went straight out the front door as if they weren't robbing the place blind. An officer and his wife made off with over $400 worth of merchandise, and it was all caught on camera. And guess what William Dickey got when he was busted shoplifting from a home improvement store? According to the Providence Public Safety Commissioner, William got himself suspended with pay. In other words, he got a paid vacation for shoplifting. He and his wife were both charged on one misdemeanor account of shoplifting, but it's not a very big charge. And since it's been a little while now since the incident without any real repercussions, it's safe to say William is probably keeping his job as a police officer. Number 4. Rite Aid Employee Killed an employee at Los Angeles Rite Aid was killed in July of 2021 while bravely trying to stop a shoplifter. Now, anyone who's worked in retail knows you're not supposed to interfere when somebody starts stealing. You figure out who they are, you get a hold of the police, and you stay out of their way. But sometimes, it's hard to ignore, and in the end, you really can't blame the employee for trying to do what he felt was right. According to the LAPD, the store employee Miguel Penaloza confronted the thieves at around 8.45 at night. They were trying to leave the store with stolen items, but they also had a gun. The employee hadn't realized he was walking into a shootout. When he told the men to stop what they were doing and get back in the store, one of them turned around and shot him. Miguel died right there on the floor of the Rite Aid. Thankfully, the shoplifter slash killer was apprehended shortly after the tragic death of Miguel. His name is Anthony Lemus, and he's facing one count of murder and one count of second-degree robbery. Number 3. Violence at the Stop and Shop It was just before 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, March 26, 2022, when a Boston police officer arrived at a stop and shop in response to a shoplifting in progress. The officer had been at the South Bay Shopping Center already, when one of the staff members said they had spotted a suspected shoplifter in the store. The officer moved in with store employees to take care of the situation, and that was when things turned violent. The officer had tried to be peaceful to resolve the situation and recover the stolen items, but the suspect lashed out and assaulted the officer. In his sudden attack, the shoplifter removed the cop's portable radio so he couldn't call for help, and then wrestled him to the ground. The officer tried in vain to get the man off him, and then found himself mounted and being strangled. The perp, later identified as Patrick Craddock of Boston, had both his hands around the officer's throat trying to strangle the life out of him. By sheer luck and determination, the officer managed to grab his radio and call for backup. More officers arrived quickly before Patrick could strangle the officer to death, and he was arrested and taken away. He was then arraigned on charges of assault and battery on a police officer 
as well as the lesser shoplifting charge. Number 2. The Hidden Compartment Dorothy Gibson was not your ordinary shoplifter. She was what you might call a career shoplifter, a professional who sometimes got caught but more frequently got away with it. She has been arrested at least 13 times and has a total of 20 convictions. Her most recent arrest came in 2021 when she was busted by the police in a Wichita Falls Walmart. They discovered she had a hidden compartment in her purse that she used to hide shoplifted items. That way, even when she was grabbed for suspicion, no security officer would find anything because the compartment concealed the stolen stuff. But this time, the compartment didn't work. She was sentenced to spend four years in prison for tampering with evidence and another 15 months in a state jail for theft and drug possession. But perhaps the most unique thing about this case is that Dorothy's arrests go all the way back to 2008. You can actually line up her mugshots nearly every single year from 2008 to 2021. Watching over a decade of drug abuse take its toll on Dorothy's face as she slowly looks worse from year to year. It's really quite a shame and hopefully over four years in prison will set her straight. Number 1. Left Behind On a Saturday in September of 2021, a trio of women went on a stealing spree in Edwardsville, Illinois. It was a shoplifting trip that ended in disaster for one of them, who got left behind by her friends and was forced to face the music. It happened at Hibbert's Sporting Goods. As soon as the three women entered the store, the employees recognized them as shoplifters. One of them had even been busted stealing from that store in the past. So the employees called the police. By the time the women were exiting the building, the cops had already shown up. There wasn't much these three women could say in their defense. They literally walked out of the store with clothes they had just grabbed off the rack. They didn't even try to cover up their thievery and walked out of the store with dozens of pieces of clothing draped over their arms. They all ran to a vehicle parked nearby. Two of them got inside, but the third got locked out. It looked like the driver turned on the ignition and put the car in drive, which automatically locked the doors. Instead of hitting the unlock button and waiting an extra three seconds for their friend, the two other girls took off and left her standing there in the parking lot. The woman had nowhere to go and nowhere to hide, and so she dropped the stolen clothing on the ground and gave herself up to the police. She was arrested and charged, but there's no word on whether she gave up her accomplices or not. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get caught stealing bananas in your pants or get caught stealing from the dollar store? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.